Hello YouTube, it's me Kelly. Um, just giving you an update. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I do apologize. Um, trying to see. Yeah, it was real downcast today, but now it's kind of perfect outside. Um, the sun's actually coming out. But um, anyway, my husband's in college, and I have that's why I haven't been able to do many videos. I'm with my daughter 24/7. Basically, she's sleeping now. <coughs> I'm sure she'll wake up eventually. I want another bottle. I'm trying to kick her off the bottle habit, although she is only 18 months old. But it gets tiring getting up three or four times at night when she's 18 months old for you know a small four ounce bottle. You know. Anyway, I wanted to do a review on white wheat. They have these in hamburger buns and hot dog buns. Now the hot dog buns. The other ones are gone, and I would have told you, but there are only one point on the momentum plan, so probably two points on the point plus. But on the hot dog buns, I love these because it's it's um it's a grain group. It's white wheat, I guess. It's they're by Healthy Family. It's white wheat. But I'll tell you what these are, and then you can find it out on the other. These are 90 calories per bun. Um, total fat is one. Um, cholesterol is zero milligrams. Sodium is 200 milligrams. Total carbohydrates is 20 grams. Dietary fiber is four grams, and sugar is two, and protein is five. Now, the reason I gave that all to you because a lot of you guys are on regular Weight Watcher or the Points Plus, which I'm not. So one of these would be one. It's same, the same with the uh, hamburger buns. And I think that's better. They're, you know, they're really, I don't even know what we pay for them, but they're not expensive. So it's basically a wheat bread, but it looks white. Um, I guess to learn more, go to www.mypyramid.gov. Um, that's what it says on the back, but I haven't even checked that out yet. But basically, anyway, um, I've lost about seven and a half pounds. I'm not going to weigh myself again until um, Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. What what has me? I haven't. I had not been tracking until about the last five days. Um, no excuses. I just haven't been doing it. But um, I got a treadmill. My husband bought for me, which was awesome. And uh, basically, I took one of these. I bought a test kit, and it had it came with 25. It was only 20 bucks or something like that, but it came with 25 test strips. Or no, we had to buy the test strips by ourselves. But I'm not diabetic, but the numbers that I got were like my first test was a fast test. Um, it's a fasting. Like when I first get up in the morning, I poke my finger and check the blood. It was at 93. Now it could have been at 83 because they go, you know either 10 over or 10 above on these. So it could have been 83 or could have been 103. So I was like, okay. So they told me to eat after I tested the first time fasting. They told me to test um, or have a, either a boiled white potato or a cup of white rice. So I had a cup of white rice and then an hour after I ate that I tested and I was at ooh, Where's my papers? Anyway, I was at 140, 152, so it was either 162 or 142. So that kind of scared me. Then they told me to test another hour later, and I went from 100 down to 152 or whatever it was down to 99. And then one more time I had to test an hour later, and I went down to 90. So it was either 80 or it was 100. So I talked with somebody and they said, no, that's actually normal. It's okay. You're not diabetic. And they asked me my weight and I said, I'm on a, you know, Weight Watchers. They said, but, you know, basically, um, to not to, um, just to keep losing weight because I'm headed in the direction of being diabetic, which I don't want to be. So that kind of kicked me into gear. Um, I know I need to quit smoking as well. I did not smoke a cigarette all day today. I was trying so hard to quit, but I ended up caving in and having one. 
about 30 minutes ago, so at least I'm trying. And um, basically, I'm still tracking my food. I've been tracking for the last five, six days, something like that, and I've lost about seven and a half pounds. Um, I thought I had it written down. It was between seven and a half, close to eight pounds, somewhere around there. Um, anyway, so Thursday, Thursday, which is today, I had um, one of the buns, which we're out of. These are hot dog buns. I mean, I could use one of these if I have to. But it's only one point. And then I had two pieces of veggie bacon, and then I had a cheese wedge on the, the bun. I toasted it and put it on the bun. Then I fried it an egg and olive oil and um, patted off the excess oil, the olive oil, and that came to six points. On my snack I had a string cheese for two points, which I'm going to, because of cholesterol, I want to have better snacks, either 100 calorie snack packs or some fruits or something. Um, we go grocery shopping probably tomorrow, tomorrow or the next day, I don't know. And then for lunch I had five points. It was a turkey wrap. It was like four pieces of turkey. They were a point each because they were thicker with a laughing cow cheese wedge in there. And for a snack, I haven't had anything. And I haven't had my dinner yet because I made everybody chili mac here. And um, I was wondering who was behind me. My brother's eating ice cream. My brother's eating ice cream on the couch. But um, basically, um, I just wanted to touch bases with everybody and let everybody know that I'm still doing this. Yes, um, my husband started college, back to school to get his uh, bachelor's in science, his BS degree. Um, and uh, basically, I've got the baby Monday through Thursday all the time. Now, Thursdays, or yeah, Thursdays, he has a morning class and he has an evening class, and so he's gone there so I get a break somewhere there with the baby but I love spending time with her she's uh, we're rebonding again she's um I have four children all together my first three are from my first husband and this is our baby together it's his only child that he has so he kinda it's like a daddy's little girl but now he's kinda like wait a minute she's not daddy's little girl anymore um so basically um I am seven and a half pounds lighter I will let you guys know. I don't want to like do any bad karma. I'm not going to say what I weigh. I can tell you that I'm doing pretty damn good or darn good, excuse my French or my language because that's not really French. That's just bad language. But anyway, um, so I just wanted to get, give everybody an update on how I'm doing and my next weigh-in will be Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. I might do an update video on this one tomorrow if I can find time. My daughter is in job for my oldest daughter, my 18-year-old. Um, She's bringing three friends to spend the night with her in her room from the Job Corps Center, so it's going to be crazier over the weekend. They go back Sunday before 8 o'clock, um, which is only like a 20-minute drive. So we're um, I'm looking forward to seeing her. And um, basically, I just wanted to touch bases and let everybody know, you know, um, I when I took this test and I seen the numbers, even though they were – in the normal range, it still scared me because I've taken tests like this before because diabetes runs in my family. My nephew is only 14 years old and he's type 1. Both of my sisters, one passed away in 2004. She was type 2 and my other sister is type 2. So I thought, you know what, I tested so good way back in the day. I mean, way back in 2007 was my last test that I did. And I thought, you know what, um, I, see my, I see the numbers rising a little bit. So I'm going to take action now. There's no more excuses, no more bull crap. I don't care how hungry I am before I go to bed. I'll drink some water or I'll go out and have some salad, you know, something light. Salad with some um, balsamic, the light balsamic vinaigrette dressing and just go to bed and, you know, deal with it. Because, oh, and also I've been riding my treadmill for about three days. Um, I'll do 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon and I'll do 20 minutes a couple hours before bed and so that's getting an hour's workout right there I mean I'm not running on it because I have bad knees but I am you know doing okay on it I'm right now I'm at only going one mile per hour but still at least I'm getting some exercise um anyway so everybody stay positive focused motivated <coughs> determined and on track and um 
If you want to know anything, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me and I'll answer anything that you would like to know about me or about anything, you know. Um, and uh, anyway, I just want to let you guys know, and I will do an update on this video maybe tomorrow before my daughter gets here. Um, my 18 year old gets back home with her friends. If not, um, I'm not promising anything, but I definitely will have a weigh in and let you know if I've lost any more come Thursday or Friday, okay? Talk to y'all soon. You have a good evening slash morning whenever you get to see this video. Talk to you soon.